I loved seeing you return to Grey's Anatomy season 17. <laughs> we're, on, <laughs> we're on season 18 now. It just got picked up for season 19. Could we see Mark Sloan go back again? Mark Sloan's currently working on a show called Euphoria. <laughs> so he's so I doubt busy. it. Yeah. <laughs> how, how was it to go back? And are you surprised that it's been on as long as it has? I mean, season 19 is, is epic. I'm not surprised. I think these people will watch the, these people. I think these people will, I think the audience of Grey's Anatomy, the fans of Grey's Anatomy are ride or die. Yeah, it's pretty amazing actually. I feel like it still has such a fandom. I look on Twitter every Thursday, people are still tweeting about it, so invested. Do you still watch it? I never watched it. You never watched Grey's? Well, I was there when it happened. It's very well well done and, and very well written. And, you know, that's probably why people are still watching it. Famke, Nip Tuck ended over 10 years ago, and I was such a fan of yours on that show. Mm. With so many reboots and reunions happening, is it time to bring that show back? Would it work in today's world? I mean, I think it was ahead of its time, obviously. Um, it touched on so many interesting subjects that have become a true reality, sadly. Um, you know, the, the, every, you know the, the way that that show always started, what don't you like about yourself? I mean, look at this world we're living in. Nobody seems to like anything about themselves anymore, which is really tragic. But um, no, I mean, I've, it's, it's been an incredible journey having been part of some of these franchises. But to go back it has never been that interesting to me in my life to move forward and do, you know, new projects and embark on, on different adventures and inhabit different characters. That's much more interesting. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Eric, you mentioned Euphoria, and I'm so ready to see where Cal goes this season, uh, how he deals with his secrets. What What do you love most about his journey in season two? I love how complicated and conflicted he is. And what was fun for me this year is, uh, you know, Cal starts living his truth, so to speak. So I got to create a whole new character. So um, very different from season one? Very different from season one. Okay. He comes completely undone oh, in so uh, this play. season, which is fun to play. It's fun to watch. It's fun to, you know, judge. It's great. Yeah. Uh, is Nate going to be okay? You Nate's going to be meeting. okay. The strength of my parenting is going to carry him through the tough times. <laughs> so he's going to be a good dad this season. I eventually will end up being a good dad, yeah. I like to hear that. I think spoiler so. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert, right? You can't keep me here. You forget where I found you, Missy. This movie was, was beautiful. It was tragic. What did you guys connect to most with the script and what made you say, I have to be a part of this? Eric, you want to go? Eric, you want to go? Yeah, sure. Well, I couldn't connect to it at first. Huh. Um, the character was written as an, uh, an American. And the director said, we want you to make it charming. I'm like, well, it's just not there. It's not on the page. I can't make it charming. Um, and then I realized, like, contextually, um, historically, you know, it would be okay to make them Irish. And Irish people are very, very charming. They're great storytellers and they're musical when they speak. And so I asked him if I could make him Irish. And that's how that came about? You can call her whatever you want. You'll be my little angel from now on. I mean, your guys' characters are not the most likable. How do you find ways to, to empathize and to connect? Yeah, I, I always, I have to empathize with a character I play and I, I really never believed that life is black and white. I think life is very gray and very complicated. And, um, you know, there's of course always the stories of this is a very evil person, but then they happen to be a vegetarian and they care about animals. And, you know, so... Um, Everyone has their... So everybody has various colors and, you know, there you always have to find a way into a character that, you know, is, is personal to you, where you can connect and definitely never place judgments on characters and whether they're evil or not. But, you know, this is a, she's a fascinating character to me. Um, and uh, the story is, you know, ultimately what I, what, what I like about the story as a whole is that love conquers all. And in a time like this, that's kind of a nice hopeful message to have yeah. out there. Absolutely. I had a like hard time part. empathizing with this character. You know, he does some pretty despicable things. Uh, but as Fomka said, you know, it's not my business to judge the character. 
amoral, yeah. moral behavior, whatnot. Um, I just played it like I saw it, and <clears throat> you know, it wasn't necessarily my goal to make this guy likable. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.